Um, I need three volunteers, and uh, I need a man, and I need two women. So somebody was doing some research. You're, you're going to interview them for a job, and you're going to follow those questions. So this person was saying, hey, I'm watching this whole Me Too thing, and I'm just... Like, I don't understand why it is that women put up with some of this sexual nonsense, right? All this sexist stuff, like, why do they put up with it? How is it that they put up with it, right? So he said, ah, you know what? I'm going to actually devise a study, and I'm going to just check it out, right? And one part of the study was interviewing young women, women and to see how they would respond to being interviewed. All right, so what's your name? Mac. Mac, nice to meet you. Where's your family from? Uh, my family's from Vietnam. Mm, cool, cool. It says here in your application that you're in college. What are you studying? I'm studying landscape architecture. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, what is your work experience like? Um, um, recently, I was an orientation leader for international students, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I was those kind of people. Um, and I did a lot of um, graph, uh, internship for graphic design and uh, a lot of construction project. Cool, cool. So, the important question, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, yes, but I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> it's okay, it's just, just me and you, baby. Just say it. <laughs> yes, he's in Penn State. Okay, keep your secrets. So I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. What do you think about talking about sexual issues in the workplace? Um, I feel like um, it's an important topic because like, I know that like uh, a lot of people regardless gender, sometimes get um, minor harassment from co-workers, but because of, like, um, there's a pressure to be, like, professional, so they don't really talk about it. Hmm. So how do you feel about wearing really tight yoga pants at work? If your yoga instructor is fine. <laughs> so what's your name? Molly. Nice to meet you. Where's your family from? America. Like, literally America. America. Good old USA. All right. <laughs> so it says in your application that you're in college. What are you studying? To be determined. To be determined. I don't know yet. Yeah. That's a good major, yeah. So, <laughs> so what is your work experience like? Um, I've worked in retail. I've worked this summer. I worked at a special needs home. Um, I worked at a gym. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, got to get that fit body. So... <laughs> So the important question, do you have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend, yes. Very unfortunate. So, <laughs> so do you live in the dorms at school? Uh, no, I live in a department. Good, good. So I'm curious, what do you think about talking about sexual issues in the workplace? Um, well, I don't think that women should be touched inappropriate in the, work, in the workplace. They should, like, it's their body, it's their space. No means no. <laughs> Okay, so how do you feel about wearing really tight yoga pants at work? Um, yoga pants are comfortable, and I think I should be allowed to wear whatever I want. I agree. Okay, so here's the deal. So this person says, hey, I want to study this, right? So I'm going to design this experiment, which we just watched, and we didn't even watch the whole thing. It goes on further, about what happens if people in these interviews and the interviewer just starts asking really inappropriate questions. So the first thing the person said was, I'm going to send a survey out to women, lots of women, right? And I'm going to see what they say. And so he sends it out to 197 women, two thirds of all women asking questions just like that. And then a little bit more risque and on and on, you know, would you wear yoga pants? Would you do this? Would you do that? Two thirds of the women said, hmm, I would not be comfortable with that, and I wouldn't answer the questions. So uncomfortable, I'm not going to I wouldn't answer it. Those questions right there, I wouldn't answer them. In an interview, no way. That's none of their business. You can ask me about yoga pants. You can ask me about that. 16 of the 197 said, I would get up and walk out. 
Now, you, you couldn't get up and walk out here, right? So that was a little bit different. And even in a way, you couldn't not answer the questions here because it's part of the class. You don't know what's going to happen. So that's not what it is. I didn't expect either of you to not answer the questions or not walk out, right? But 16 said we would walk out. How many of them, so when they actually did it, just like this, how many of them either refused to answer the question or walked out of the interview? 25 people they interviewed just like that. How many women refused to answer the question or walk out of the interview? What do, what do you think? 25 people had your experience. How many of them refused to answer any of the questions? Five. Five? What do you think? I guess oh. five, too. What do you think, bro? I'm thinking like two or three, maybe. How many, how many walked out of the interview? How many do you think? Uh, I said five. You think five actually walked out? Yeah? yeah. You think? What do you think? Um, I don't know. Maybe like two or three. I feel like it wasn't that offensive. Yeah? Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know. Bro, how about you? I'm thinking none. How many? Yeah. So the answer is zero. None. So we're big talkers, right? But there's something when you're sitting down, you're sitting down in front of this person right here, Right? Here, have a, sit right there really fast. So I'm, we're in, you're in front of the, the male interviewer and you're in it and you're thinking like, you know, you're in your social class or you're with your friends or you're with other, you're, you're like, you're, you know, you're, you're thinking, right? You're, you're, you're thinking maybe independently. You're a big talker. You're like, yeah, I walk out. I wouldn't answer. You know, F that guy, right? In the moment, there's some strings that come down to say, well, I got to answer this question. Well, I can't get up and walk out. I got to be right here. Exactly. He's just got the rope and he's pulling me in and I'm here and I'm not going to get out of it. So it's like, why, so the question of why is it? How does this stuff happen? How can men, male interviewers, for example, this is just this, ask these kinds of things and do these kinds of things and women, for whatever reason, will just stay in it because that's what happens. That's what happens. These are the invisible strings. And we're all connected. So there you go. Do you see the profoundness of that, y'all, right? When we get into the wor world of gender and race and culture and ethnicity and all of these things, do you like, do you see that? It's like, do, do you know like how so much is happening to us that we don't see and how incumbent particularly important incumbent it is, how important it is for people in the majority, men, able-bodied people, straight people, white people, rich people, whatever it is, people in the majority are just more cognizant of the fact that like some of that majority status is, is given to us by things that we really don't comprehend. 